Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Blasphemous 2. Last time we left off, we stopped right before we were about to jump into this pit right here. Um, so, I guess let's continue jumping into this pit. Uh, I'm assuming this is leading to a <clears throat> boss fight, if I had to guess. Um, can't help but notice the... I don't know, the camera panned over there, so I was thinking like for a second, maybe that... I don't know, there was something cool over there. But, no, there's no such thing. Alright, let's just continue down into the depths of the darkest dungeon. I don't know why I felt the need to, to... to do a darkest dungeon thing, but I did. God, I remember, it is, it is a great how many of these enemies are are back from the first game, because I remember those dumb little statue idiots with a little claw hand so much. I hated them, because they're like, nye, nye. <laughs> they just kind of scratch you. And they put them in very jerkish locations, too. I also, of course, remember the assholes with, like, the giant coffin on their back that blocks damage and things like that. So. Oh, we can not doing anything there. Um... Looks like we gotta fall into that. Weird, right? Oh, hi. No, you don't. Hello? Uh... You are enemy. Okay, so you're like those other assholes, except you can actually move and you don't die when you do it. Interesting. Um... You can't, like... Yeah, you can't do that in the air. Hmm. I don't know how I would go about getting that then. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's something I can really do. Not at the moment. But there's definitely stuff down here. Uh, I'm gonna add a question mark. Or... Maybe... Treasure? Treasure. <clears throat> I need to be able to, like, dive into that very small space. Which, uh, is not ideal. Oh, hi. There's one of those. This is definitely need to be able to jump higher. Because I can't quite make that. Hi? Oh. Door. Is that a time thing? I don't think so. No, it totally is. Okay. I just wanted to check to see if that was a time thing or not. I was thinking since, like, you could still reactivate the thing, that probably was. Um... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm glad I started jumping preemptively there. <laughs> because they had one of those dumbasses waiting for me. Yeah, see, I can't, like, fall into... Uh, fall in and ledge grab it like I... With those, with that spiked area, so as a pain. I remember hating this enemy in Blasphemous One as well, just because I'm really, really bad at dealing with them. Uh huh. Okay, when I have a little jump like that, not nearly as bad. Oh, I wanted to murder you, but I'm never ready for when they can actually be executed. <sighs> Absolutely never ready for it. Um. What is right here? Because I can't drop in. Does that just create, like, a bridge for me? Or, like, a little platform that I can easily access? I think that might be what it does. Ooh, pray do. Yeah. Okay, that's useful. Um... That might allow me to do something here. Hello. Ah, that's what that's for. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. So now I can get in here to these tiers. Give. Oh, wait. That was a mark of martyrdom. That wasn't the tiers at all. Interesting. Oh, my God. And there's another mark of martyrdom. Okay, well, now I know how to get these. So that's quite useful. Alright, I am very, very down for that. That's... That was three marks of martyrdom, right? 
And... Don't really have a good way to get up there now, but that will specifically lead to that treasure. Um... When I can actually do it. Um... Uh, let's spend these marks, I think. So... I have three. So, I did want aerial ignition, right? Um, press RB in the air to activate Veridicto with a quick airstrike can be used to cancel airstrikes. So, if I do that... Okay, that is cool. You can specifically, like, cancel. So that's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I like that quite a bit. Alright, let's, let's get back over here. That is a good get, in my opinion. So... Let's go... Let's just keep continuing this way. I, ideally, what I would want is some kind of new platforming ability, because it definitely feels like I'm starting to need that. Or this... Oh, this isn't gonna do much for me. This is just an elevator boss. Or elevator battle, like a JRPG, like I said. Last time, I think, I mentioned that here. That still caught me. Uh-huh, I knew you were here. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I had to be a little bit faster, I think. Exemplaris excommunicatius. Alright, well... Um... I might as well just hold that guilt. Um... Because, I mean, this, this isn't exactly a difficult room and I can just get more stuff from it. So... That reminds me, what is this? Increases fire damage inflicted. Because I do have enough for that. Yeah, give me that. So, that'll be useful in boss fights, probably. Especially since that one thing I have is a fire type thing. So, fuck me. Go. There we go. I wasn't fast enough. We're dead. We're dead again. Crush me, do it. There we go. So, we're just building up our guilt right now. This is a hard room though, because you gotta go fast and you specifically gotta not get hit by that thing there. Because if you get hit by it, then it knocks you down and Penitent One is not the swiftest, l swiftest lad there ever was. So... Okay, get me up there please. Okay, there, down, there we go, that's what we needed to do. Uh-huh. Thank you. God, that's a... That's a challenge and a half. Huh, you had to move fast for that. But we did it. Okay. And up here... Looks like I'll be able to hit a thingy. It looks like we probably had to do this. This was required. That was pretty hard for a requirement. I was thinking we'd get some kind of cool item or something out of that, but... Whew. Yeah, you had to be- you had to be quick on that one. Alright. Thanks. Appreciate it. God, yeah, and if you get hit, it's basically game over. Oh, boy. Alright, um, what's down here? Help but notice we can go down here. Nothing hidden there, right? No. Uh... Okay. I do want to go get my stuff back. I'm not doing that, friend. I'm sorry. You can... You can keep that. Uh... Huh. Owie... Huh? Ow. Oh, I'm so fucked. Get up. Climb. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, the magic pixel. Oh god, now please let there be no enemies here. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Talk about lucky. Oh, gods. Holy.
Golly. Okay, we need to we need to go get our uh, go get our ship back there. Oh, that was not a fun. Beautiful. Well, now it'll be easy to go get my ship back. Wonderful. All right, let's uh, let's go grab our guilt over. <laughs> Give me that back. Uh, and there's more guilt over there, which is fine because that's the direction I have to go anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, the time for not dying is is past us. At least there's not as much of a penalty for dying anymore. Uh, ooh, finally another one of these to put down. Um, yeah, green. Green. Okay. Well, there we go. So, at least I get extra stuff. So... Yeah, because that's 52 just for killing that jackass. Unfortunately, those are not worth a lot, but... I will take it. That's good, that's good. <sighs> and getting this uh, back isn't so bad. There we go. Just kill it before it gets the opportunity. Alright, up we go. So, yeah, we don't really lose much by dying, so... I don't even- do, do- do I even lose any Tears of Atonement from dying? I don't- I don't think I do. Also, does this thing still need to be here? I don't think it does, because I lowered that thing. Does it? Uh, I'm gonna leave it there just in case. If I'm not sure, I need to leave it there just in case. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what a death-filled episode. It's very late at night for me, but I don't I don't really think that's playing a factor into it here. I think this is just kind of difficult at parts, so... That just puts me out up here. Nothing of interest there, really. Oh, hi. None of that, please. If you don't mind. I flubbed. Okay. That was not a good. I tried to jump too early and it screwed me. There we go. So that gets me over here. Ow. Ooh, okay, wait, more of this wall. Except this is a side facing one. Um, okay, I'm still gonna put that down just because that means, yeah, we need to do that. Okay. Interesting. So we, ne we need whatever ability allows us to do that. And then I will continue down here. Okay, we're getting close to whatever this boss is. Th is that a pre -do? I believe it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ow. Bonk. Hitting me with the bonk. God, you just barely clear those... those idiots. Yeah, I think that's a pre you and we have our boss fight down here. <sighs> Which I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna die to about a billion times. Right? Ye yes, I do believe so. So, yep, because our boss fight is right down there. Alright, alright, I guess that's what we're doing. Okay. Um, I do have increased fire damage, and I have RB in the air to activate uh, Veradicto with a quick airstrike. Um, so... We'll see how this goes. Oh, hey, it's you. It's like my my little friend. Interesting. Uh, there's no reason for me to go up there because that's yeah right here. Of course, what is down here? Can I go down anymore? I can go down. Yeah. Cause that yeah that leads to the boss. But this has a little something for me, too. An ornate chalice. 
What are... Wait, were these used in Blasphemous 1? I remember chalices in some game I played. I want to... Oh, that might have been Astalon? Cup embellished with small stones used in rituals at its bottom dark bloodstains can be discerned. The church shut down its doors to us forever. The floor of its nave collapsed, revealing a deep, dark abyss. A remnant of a bygone era that has been concealed for centuries. Only those brave enough to dare peer into its blackness and they speak of walls carved with figures looking upwards in unison as if yearning for the scarce light. They also say that sometimes those who stayed for a while could hear a distant wail. Cries so desperate it wounded the soul, and no one knew from where or from what the horror from what horror it came, a sound that can never be forgotten. When that happens, they throw white flowers into the abyss, an act that apparently calms down the suffering of that mysterious being. No one knows whether the flowers are thrown as a gesture of compassion or fear. No one knows what lies there, in the depths of the abyss. On Lu? Only- oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Only that we must stay away from that place. Alright, well, I know who's hanging out down there. It's the Four Kings. Everybody knows that. Easy. Alright. Um, let's jump this away. And, alright. Um, I guess let's get into a boss fight. Uh, did I equip? I do. So we do extra damage. Yeah, I mean. Here our wills cross once again. Oh, nameless, penitent one. For a long time now, my life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. Is it your wish to meet her? Yeah. When I was but a girl, I was able to escape the horror of the deformity engendered by the miracle. A miracle that chose the clean reflection of the still waters of a lake to reveal the truth it held in store for each of those who gazed within it. The old bell, which had fallen to the bottom of the lake many years before, began to ring making the waters ripple to its eerie chime. Our reflected faces began to distort before our terrified gazes, and the miracle ended up capturing that work, that disfigured horror on the waters, as if it were a fresco, making everything that had been reflected in them disappear. Ah, frescoes. I have quite a bit of experience with that with my studies. As I fled, I turned my gaze towards the lake and beheld that ghastly event from afar. Penitent one, can you not hear it? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle that yearns to meet thee. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? Ooh, I can summon help? Interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm usually not against having help in these games. I would like to fight the boss once by myself. Um, interesting, interesting. But we can't, we can't get help. Huh. Um no for now then I shall continue my search until our next meeting penitent one Oh you actually just left Oh I don't get an opportunity to Okay so I just miss out on that Okay if that's the case then I may bring them into every fight <laughs> because you just leave if I say no That sucks. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know you were gonna leave like that. And um, I don't think I can just quit out because I would have liked to see you fight. I just wanted to try the boss once myself. Billing clouds of dust herald your arrival. Dust in the air that is born from the erosion of the walls the statues, and our own bones. These stones heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. Echoes 
that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them, and that escaped from me, crawling along these walls, eroding them until their immaculate ashes buried us all. Yeah, so this is just the ashes of a bunch of people, as I mentioned. Whoa! Fuck! I didn't know that was gonna auto- Oh, I didn't know that was gonna auto-move- Auto-progress. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, we need to go ahead and find out. Can I dash through you? I don't know that I could. Alright. Uh-huh. This is probably going to be a very, very hard fight. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Whoop! Mm-hmm. You did manage to clip me. Okay. This is these. Uh-huh. Nope. Uh-uh. More of those. Ah, okay. Ah, I was trying to turn and dodge. Okay, that, that doesn't seem too bad, though. I took a lot of damage early because I didn't know what was going on yet, but uh, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Doesn't seem too bad at all. You just you just jump the attacks, and uh, I'm gonna try to use my fire with uh, Veredicto a little bit more this time. Um, so yeah, not so bad at all. All right, all right. Now that now that we know what we're dealing with, I think we got this. Uh huh. Give me this, please. Uh huh. Ow! Jumped way too early. All right. That is big damage. Oh my god! We just need to do that. Oh. Do I not have enough? Okay, that's way more expensive than I thought. Uh huh. Okay. That's big damage. That is amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just need to spam that. Oh, yeah. I was like trying to activate. Veredicto and stuff. But that's not what we need to do at all. Uh-huh. Okay, that's totally different. What are you doing? Ow. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, here's the projectiles that I was expecting to see. Uh-huh. Are you charging? How do I get around that? I don't actually know. I do not for the life of me know. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm dead. Oh, okay, you can jump it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't get greedy. Got it. Whew. Okay. Okay, okay. I didn't think I was gonna- I didn't think I could jump over him once he was too tall. Once it- once he was taller. 
But no, I totally could. I totally could. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. The flames that I was using? Because I have that, like, extra flame damage thing? Absurd. Absolutely absurd. That flame damage was amazing. Me activating my, my little fire on my weapon? Way less useful than just throwing those flames on the floor. Those flames on the floor were doing damage. <laughs> they were hurting. All right. I'm happy with that. It wasn't too bad, especially for like my first boss. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Radames, spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Yeah, see, so this is what got me in that cutscene. Normally, you have to progress text like this by pressing A. I didn't have to in that cutscene. It progressed on its own, which threw me off. Uh, luckily, people could pause the video and see exactly what was said, but yet, yeah, this is the character that I fought, so. Even after death, I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again, pleading for confession. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed. And it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. The memory of him still hurts. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. For having long ceased to bathe us in its benevolent radiance, we believed it extinct. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, few things that we can get from that. So, the miracle specifically asked you to protect its thing and be one of its leaders. But also a couple not being able to conceive a child and went to the miracle for that. That makes me wonder if the giant thing that the miracle is currently giving birth to is this couple's child. <laughs> Monkey paw curled. Let the miracle cast open its black gates. So I might venture to where that terrible dream, from which one never wakes, awaits. Requisat in pace. Alright, there we go. A third of the way through the game already, definitely. That's definitely what that means. There we are. Hello. Penitent one, you have encountered one of the three regrets. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Yeah, the first t testimony of the birth has been revealed to you. So yeah, a couple straight up asked the miracle to help them conceive a child. And, uh, <laughs> things are happening. Find the other two guardians. Will do. Penitent one, the first find- Okay, you don't have anything new to say. Alrighty, well. Um. I don't like that. Please stop that. Cease. Cease your incessant babbling. Ooh. Ooh! That means one of the sisters is nearby, and that was a hidden wall. Grateful we are. 
That's one of the sisters. So when you hear that like little whispering, I think I've heard that like one other time before. Yeah, so now we know what that is. Now we know what that is. Yeah, so if we hear the whispering, that means that there's a sister nearby. Okay. Okay. Understood. All right, cool. And we got a pray do right here. Aqueduct of the Costales. Um, where's my other guilt? I guess I guess I got to go get the rest of it purged. If I want to get rid of some more guilt. I suppose that's what this is insinuating. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, I think I think I, I let so much guilt build up. I can't just pick it up and have it go back to normal every time. If you die too much, you do accrue enough to where it does start to affect you a little bit. Um, so, all right. Well, uh, that is fine. Um, we do have one of these. Um, I can spend. We might as well spend it there on tempered flames. Uh, I do have a memory to give the sculptor though, so maybe I want to save up for another slot here. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that next time, so. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.